Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video by All Small Stuff. I'm All Small Stuff. What's up? What do you do? <laughs> Okay, so in today's video, I am giving you guys a get and ready with me video, a skincare video on how I take off my makeup uh, to go to bed at night and how I keep my skin healthy, what products I use. Um, disclaimer, um, this video is not sponsored. It's literally the stuff I get myself, I buy myself, I use all the time. I've used it for like a really, really, really long time. Like, really long time and this is like the product that i feel like s helps my skin uh stay clear and all of that no matter how much makeup i use and all of that um okay so let me start with the history of my skin before i get into detail so i had very bad chronic chronic acne i had bad bad acne growing up my whole high school life like i was a lunch bar everybody called me lunch bar because i look like a lunch bar like i had really bad skin i had bumps everywhere pimples bumps and then i'd have a uh, white heads here it would be really really horrible so um initially i tr my mom tried everything like the whole lemon putting lemon on your skin um what else lemon light uh what I, like she tried all of the textbook um what do you call textbook things textbook things and none of them worked like my skin stayed the same and it stayed horrible like there was nothing we could do we even at some point started doing facials with place call and nothing was happening like my skin would be okay and then it wouldn't like it wasn't any long lasting um effect for lack of a better word but um when i was in grade 11 i started then going to a dermatologist dermatologist told me that yeah i'm gonna put you on uretane put me on uretane so uretane is a six month course um where you take pills and take care of your skin and it helps like deal with your hormones and whatever i don't know what it does but it helps and then me i would like take it for two weeks and when i see that my skin is getting better i'm like oh, i don't need these pills and i'll stop taking them and then my skin would go back to square one and then i have to go back to the dermatologist and we'd have to start over from scratch so it, that prolonged the whole thing until i got to like matric when i got to matric i was like okay you know what i'm tired of this uretane thing like i've been taking uretane for a good two years now like i'm tired and then when i got to first year my mom was like okay let's do this for the last time and this time if you don't go for the whole six months i'm giving up and i was like okay fine so <laughs> i did it for oh so this time i was not on uretane the doctor put me on acne tain when i got on acne tain it's also still pearls um same process you take the pearls you take care of your skin they prescribe um what facial product to use so it's more cetaphil more dermatologica is it dermatologica i think it's dermatologica bo bo what's that space eucerin all of that so i was like okay so i saw a friend of mine a friend of mine who had recently gotten on the program as well but she was on uretane and she finished the six month course like with no trouble and her skin was popping so i was like ah, i also need to have my skin popping so that was motivation to finish the program so when i finished the program in six months my skin was clear and my skin has been clear ever since but i would break out when i used certain products like there were products that was just not working for me both eucerin both dermatologica both cetaphil i started off with in the beginning and then they got really expensive for me and i was just like ah yeah i can take a young hundred rand buy a six pack and like now i'm shooting facial stuff you understand so i started becoming economical so <laughs> my skin did not like that my skin did not like uh, the products that i had started using and it would like break out so my brother my baby brother started having teenage acne um and then my mom put him on cuticura when my mom put him on cuticura i would steal his soap 
couldn't share bathroom i'd steal his soap steal his lotion and all of that and i saw man this thing is working for me so then i got onto cutie cura and i've never looked back since i use their soap i use their toner and i use their moisturizer and it works guys like it works for my skin and i feel like it has the strong ingredients of all those expensive products but like cheaper like cheaper version of all of but sure <laughs> so yeah okay let me just while i'm talking let me wash my face so ever since i started using makeup this has become a big friend of mine um the ganya micellar water cleansing micellar cleansing water so this is a makeup remover either i use this or i use the one with the brown bottle the one with the brown bottle is for what you call say what is it sensitive skin it's for sensitive skin um i don't have sensitive skin my skin is just fine so i whichever i grab first it doesn't really matter it doesn't do anything but if you have sensitive skin then maybe get the one with the um brown goldish bottle um cap um but yeah this is what she looks like and then i use a uh, cotton pads to remove my makeup these range from like 9 rand 9.99 15 rand 20 rand these are very cheap it's just cotton pads that you get from anywhere literally so yeah this is what they look like it's literal cotton pads or you could use like norm normal cotton wool but i feel like this is easier to work with for me i probably run through two packets a month because i use a lot of makeup and yo you see how many pads i use i take two at a time you see how many pads i use right now so i'm gonna put the micellar water and i'm not stingy with that either like we go in we go in with that i start with my eyes i forgot to take off my eyelashes <laughs> there was about to be a mess a mother there was about to be a mess okay so oh hi hello <laughs> I'm gonna start with my eyeshadow and eyebrows first so i'm just gonna put this there let it sit and pick up the product before i rub and then yeah so i wanted to tell you guys that like this is a nighttime routine but like you guys know man i'm i'm a simple girl right like i don't like complicating my life I'm a simple girl, but I found that skincare needs you to be a bit complicated, right? So, ooh, I look a mess, child. Hi, I'm Small Stuff. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so, I was saying I'm a simple girl. I like simplicity. So, at night, this is my skincare routine. In the morning, it's the same skincare routine. The only step I skip is removing my makeup because obviously when I wake up, I don't have makeup on because I removed it the night before. Let me just put this hair away. Because I removed it the night before, so there's no need to remove it in the morning. Ooh, I must still look presentable, girl. The fuck? So, um... I'm simple like that, that I do the same routine I do at night in the morning, right? But skincare needs you to be a bit... Because our hormones are different. You know how gents um, have like the same soap for their body and their face and everything works out for them? Yeah, we have different hormones. So we need a little, ooh, I look like a clown. I look like a clown. We need a little extra push. So most, I'm not gonna say every Sunday, I'm not gonna lie. I wish it would be every Sunday, but I haven't, I look like a mess. Let me skip this part, no is. So I was saying on Sundays, I like to do an in-depth skincare routine where i like 
do my masking, my um, you know, futa in English, steaming, all of that. So I think I should have a separate video for my Sunday skincare routine. Oh, child, it's still dirty, so we still need to put more. So yeah, I think I need to do a video for that. But on a day to day during the week, I use the same thing over and over again. Guys, I'm a diehard fan for this routine because it always like, even when like, I feel like by mistake, by mistake, please never do this. Like, don't do this. By mistake, it was a lit night and I slept with my makeup on. I know that I'm gonna break out. I'm gonna break out and this routine will help me not break out do you understand so don't sleep with your makeup guys like your pores are supposed to breathe so at night your skin re 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 what what itself it removes a layer of itself and then you have a new layer in the morning that's why your pillow gets dirty because there's a layer that's left on your pillow so if you sleep with makeup on, makeup clogs your pores, right? So that whole process can't happen because your pores are clogged. Anyway, as I was saying, um, yeah, so I'm rambling now. I should probably stop talking. Okay, so my skin is almost, almost ready to be washed. Uh, also you with the piercing you better 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 clean there by the piercing because you don't want that makeup going in to your hole like that it's dirty see how clean it's looking already the one thing that i wish this garnier micellar water got rid of though was glue on your eyelashes i know how to take it out but i wish that it could be one simple process to understand like look there there's glue on my eyelash see there's a pimple there's a pimple but it's cool everything else is clear everything else is still pretty let's go wash our face okay so first things first is there an echo i think there's an echo i'm so sorry first things first when we wash our face we use um our cuticura soap um, mine is almost done. It's not in its box. I'm gonna put the box somewhere here so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, I used, I washed like twice, if not three times. It depends on how I feel with the micellar water. If I feel like it cleaned a lot, I feel like today it cleaned a lot, so I'm probably gonna wash twice. Um, what else? So we're gonna wash our face, and then yeah, I'll tell you guys everything afterwards. <laughs>
so to tone i use the cutie cura oil control toner i don't know why they specified oil control on the bottle because it's the only toner they have from cutie cura worst one is for me though whether it's oil control or not they want to use another cotton pad as well in case you guys were wondering where i buy my cutie cura it's literally at any retail store from clicks clicks is not a retail store but both pick and pay both checkers they all have it and it's very strong like sometimes it stings my face and i know you're supposed to be gentle with your face but with the long journey that i have been through with my face like i've been through a long journey with my face with the long journey that i've been through with my face when it stings i'm like yeah it's working when it doesn't sting i'm like yeah, yeah. i'm gonna wake up and i'm gonna be breaking out okay it's not that dirty so we're gonna go in again to make sure that it's clean 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 no i don't wanna because it has burnt today i don't want to how can i put it harm my skin further if it's harmful but like the fact that so if it didn't sting and that the cotton pad looked like this i was gonna do it again but the fact that it stung my face i don't want to be too harsh to my skin so i'm gonna put in our moisturizer so for moisturizer i use the cutie cura oil control matte and smooth grapefruit extract um moisturizer lotion thingy so i know you guys can't see you guys you guys can't see but it has grapefruit extract uh, matte and smooth um yeah the ingredients are the normal ones bo aqua bo glycerol and whatever 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 um So it says here with grapefruit extract is specifically formulated to reduce oiliness and reduce shine to your skin to make your skin matte and leave it feeling soft and smooth so um what i got from my dermatologist is that because i have really oily skin that also like um adds on to the acne so i don't rub this in i just pop it in um the oiliness adds on to my acne so all the grease and the sweat on my face irritates my face and i just break out so that's why i always have matte makeup i always put matte um, primers and my skin lotion is also matte because i have really oily skin and when i say really i mean really like beneza type of oily skin so okay um so for lip stuff i usually use a pattern that's baby bum cream like for babies who are in nappies type of so they don't get a rash but that's what i use for my lips in the morning and at night but now it's all the way in my car and it's so cold to go face it and i'm so sorry but i'll put a picture of it here so you guys can see what the pattern looks like <laughs> but yeah um that's what i put so i just put vaseline now i yo i need it i don't know how i'm gonna get it but not now child not now but anyway thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it was insightful if um it wasn't then i don't know i'm not a qualified dermatologist guys so what i'm saying is not the way the truth in the life it's just what i use and it's what i like on my skin i'm not suggesting that if you have acne then use all of that no this is what my skin likes and this is what helps my skin not break out but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys do like comment and subscribe and yeah thank you guys so much for watching